in here as good as the congregation. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, before I get started with the children's message this morning, I'm going to eat a little bit of my breakfast. But there's something I have to do before I eat a meal, right? Yeah. Yeah, what's that? Wash your hands. That's right. I'm going to wash my hands. You know why you have to wash your hands? Yeah. Why? Because I usually get the germs on that's right. You want to get your hands clean so that you don't get something dirty into your mouth. All right, let me get all washed, rinse them off. You got to do a good job, right? You can't just dip them in the water, you got to wash them. Dry them off. Now I'm ready to eat my breakfast. I bet sometimes when you go to eat, you forget to wash your hands, don't you? Never? Well, I do. You know, it's not that big a deal. We all do that. All right, I'm ready for breakfast. <clears throat> Bananas are good. They're nice and clean bananas. That's true. And they're true. That's right. All the things. Alright, well, you know, it's very good and important to wash your hands, but in the Gospel of, before you eat, right? But in the Gospel of Matthew, it tells us where Jesus said, there's something even more important than making sure that what goes into our mouth is clean. And he, it tells a story about he. When Jesus lived on the earth, there were religious leaders, and they had lots of different things they expected people to do, to, to wash their hands before they ate. And sometimes they even had to wash their food, or just a whole bunch of things they worried about making sure that everything they did was clean. Well, look, apparently Jesus' disciples were kind of like we are. They forgot to do that sometimes. And Jesus didn't really say anything to them about it. So the religious leaders ask him, why don't your disciples follow all the traditions of cleanliness and clean and all of that? And Jesus said to them, well, it's far more important to be worried about what comes out of your mouth than what goes in. What comes out of our mouth? Words. Words, is right. And he said, you know, the words that come out of your mouth tell us something about you. They tell us whether your heart is clean or not. So, I think we've all heard the saying that sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can never hurt you. You think that's true? I don't think so. I've had people say some things to me that really hurt a lot and made me feel bad. So, so they, had to, they were what? That's right, body words, nasty words. And so we have to be, we have to worry about what comes out of our mouth. So if we have potty words, nasty words, angry words, mean words, and the words that come out of our mouth tell us what our heart is like, what does that tell us about our heart? It's breaking our the disciples were worried about putting unclean things in. What does it tell us? About? I'm sorry? Well, any words might indicate it's breaking, but it means our heart is probably unclean. It needs, needs to be washed. How can we wash our heart? Hmm? No, well, that's our hands. We wash our hands with water, but we can wash our heart. And we wash. you pray, but we have to do something very specific when we pray. We have to confess our sin to Jesus. And then Jesus will forgive us, and that washes our heart clean. So then when we have a clean heart, what kind of words will we have? Clean words. Yeah, what, what are clean words? They're nice words. They're nice words. They're gentle words. They may tell somebody you love them. Those are words that come out of a clean heart. So what we have to learn from this is we have to kind of pay attention, we have to listen to ourselves. 
and hear what kind of words are coming out of my mouth. Am I angry? Am I yelling? Am I saying potty words? Or am I saying nice words? Am I being gentle to, to my friend? And am I responding nicely to my parents? And those kinds of things. So we have to pay attention to that. And if the words are ugly words, then we need to cleanse our heart. If they're kind words, then we can thank Jesus. Okay? So, from now on, if, when your mommy and daddy tell you to go wash your hands before you go eat, <coughs> try to think about, oh yeah, I need to wash my heart too, maybe. I need to listen. Does my heart need to be washed? Alright, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for forgiving our sins when we confess them so we can have a clean heart. Help me to remember to listen to my words and wash my heart when it needs to be. Amen. Okay, Pastor has some bulletins for you.